I'm telling you, I really like this uh, water pump thing, so I'm going to show you one more time. This is the water pump, and so I'm going to, I told the guy at the, I told the guy at the, um, at the gas station, I'm going to turn this into some teeth. I'm going to make some teeth out of this, or make a gold chain, or a titanium chain or something. Probably not good to keep handling this thing, but still, I like this so much. I had to, I, I just totally, I'm amazed at This is the thing, this is the heart of the car. You know, the, um, the, I wonder if the, um, if this is really the heart of the car. This is more like the coolant heart of the car. Because I think the car has two hearts. I mean, one heart is the coolant. The other heart is the engine itself is the heart. So, I mean, so then the the engine is really the heart. And this is the secondary heart. And then the thermostat is like the pituitary gland or the thyroid that regulates your body temperature. Anyway, so long story short, see how it is? It's like so flat. There's no, no blade to it. So this is not even turning water. So I'm not sure what exactly happened, but whatever happened, it happened really bad. It's very like sharply cut. Like it, they all broke at the same time. Now I don't know how long ago this might have broken. For all we know, we might have had just one. You know, but one thing I did notice is that we had great gas mileage. Great, great gas mileage after all that. So that's going to be under this. And that's last time. Not so much the last time I'm going to show you this for now. Next time you see it, it might be a gold chain or some teeth. I don't know. Whatever it is, but it makes a nice little star pattern. A little, a little, you know, little star David there in the middle. But for the most part, though, you have that. The engine part. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it back in this main box. And that way, that sucker is going to be there as a memento, a reminder of what you can do. If you check, check, double check. Don't forget. Check, check, double check. All right, so I'm going to end that. Then we're going to go on to the next thing, which is the Mantis relocation program. So let me go ahead and just end this here and then come back to that. Okay. So what we're going to make today, we're going to make this. This is the container unit for the, um, the housing unit for the Prairie Mantis. And so what it is is that this here is one of the many we're going to make. So I have to show you the video of what we are going to make and then show you what we've already made. So this is what one of those we're going to make. And here's another one we're going to make. Then we're going to put the Prairie Mantis in there. So what you're going to see is you're going to see this one being made. All right, so to the video. Like move. Hello and there. hello everybody. This is Greg, and today we're going to be doing the Mantis Relocation Program. Mantis Relocation Program, which means that we have um, Mantis, a prey Mantis, as pets, and what they are are pretty much like this. Big old, well not really big like this, but this is a one of our prey Mantis that I've made in masking tape. And I made this at the, when I was doing the, the what was it? We were at the uh, Rockefeller Center. I made this one at Rockefeller Center last year in 2022, 2022, and uh, pretty much I made this, and it's like you know it's really cool because uh, we had a mantis that we had we found um, at the Shirley Chisholm Park, and from there um, over in Brooklyn, and we brought it home, and she was she gave birth to you know like hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of um, you know of uh, babies. Anyway, so what happens is that this, today what we're going to do, we're going to, ha we have the mantis that have been with us for um, many months now, and so we had her, her name was, um, her name was uh, String Bean, uh, Green Bean, sorry, Green Bean, and Green Bean was the name of, um, of we had, uh, she, she passed away uh, shortly, um, not shortly, but like after many months, we had her since like it was warm, and it went from being warm to cold, and then, you know, middle of winter, so she laid a bunch of eggs, a bunch of Uthaka, and um, if you know what Uthaka is, pretty much when they lay the eggs, it's actually all of the um, the babies that are prepared for the harsh winter in a, like a waterproof, watertight seal. So anyway, so what happened was like she was, um, she gave birth to that, um, she gave birth to the eggs, and or she, she, she laid the eggs, and then the eggs hatched. So when they hatched, that was like December... December 1st is when they, ha um, December, um, December 1st is when they hatched. And so we have now, now we're in February, so we have two months of these where they've grown. So, anyway, what I want to show you, what we're going to do today, we're going to do a relocation program. So the ones that are pretty much bigger, we're going to move it to a, their bigger cages. So, when we first started, so what you're going to need today for today's, um, ex experiment is you're going to need, you're going to need a glue gun. A glue gun, you're going to need um, some popsicle sticks, some popsicle sticks, let's see if you can see them, right here, some popsicle sticks, you're going to need some containers, right, these are containers, and you need the containers with their lids, so each container looks like this, one container is like this, this is another container right here, this is one of the containers, and what I did was that I had already pre-designed where I'm going to be, so I also have, um, a drill set that you need as well, so let me get my drill, let me get my drill. Let me get my oh, drill. So here goes my drill. 
And so what you need is a drill bit because we're going to go ahead and drill some of these holes, the holes in here and in there to make this there. So you have also the marking. So you're going to need also a marker so you can mark down where the holes that you want to have located by. So we're going to get that real quick. And let's see, let me get that real quick, the marker. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make a new make a new setup for the praying mantis. So what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to show you the procedures and then after that we're going to show you the relocation. Alright, so the glue gun i got to get warmed up so we'll plug that sucker in and have that ready so we'll be able to show you the progress and the process of how we make um, a new housing units to the relocation program for the praying mantis. So we'll plug that sucker in. Alright, so I'm going to pause it real quick, and then when I come back, you're going to see um, a new setup and how the difference is. Okay, so talk to you in a moment. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here's where we are. Right here, I have my drill and my drill set and um, the, drill, the correct drill bit. I also have a ruler here to let you know exactly pretty much how big everything is, what's going on. So the ruler, we're going to do, put this down real quick uh, on the floor. By the way, what I'm going to do, this is a container. This is a container, what it's going to be looking like when it's, um, well, not look like, but here's the holes I already had pre, pre-marked. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spend the, the duration of this video um, connecting the, connecting the, um, uh, doing the cross beams. The cross beams of the, of the, um, the place for the, for the mantis to crawl upon um, in here. So I'm going to do like uh, this kind of pattern. So going to stick that way because they can climb up and then also they can molt. The problem that we've had, um, I'll show you some of the problems we had later in the video, but um, if it's too small and they molt, they have a, a, a problem. So anyway, so here's the glue gun is all ready. So I'm going to do, see if I can stand on the light and do this where I can show you how, it, how it's done. So here it goes. So we're going to put it like this in there. And then I'm going to put the next one like that. So you have to kind of approximate because you have to make sure the cover can close. And what you're doing, you're making so that you can actually climb on these things here. And so when they climb, they can actually put little burrs and are able to um, they're able to um, line up where they want to go. So here's this. Um, like what do you want like to go? So I'm going to first do the bottom part. So what you do is you take the glue gun and you put some glue gun at the bottom. You know, you don't put the mantis in. Uh, obviously, you don't put the mantis in when it's hot. So, but you have to position the pieces are. So you have to put it like where you get the glue gun at the bottom of it right here. So glue gun right there, if you can see, right? So glue gun at the bottom. Then you put that at the bottom right into the bottom there. That way it positions where you're going to put it. This is going to be here, right? And then if it, you know, it's kind of like make sure you get a nice big enough glob, otherwise it'll move. The whole purpose of this is so that it, they have a place that's like an anchor. You, you recreate like a little forest inside of a plastic container, you know? Because I mean, like, it's 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 not easy to get. Um, uh, well, I mean, it is easy to get wood, but it's like to get it the right size and a whole bunch of them. I mean, you got to go break a lot of branches to do this. So, if you already have popsicle sticks, that works out great. You just go ahead and do that. Put some at the top as well as at the bottom. So here's some at the top, All right? there. Okay, good. That, And then you have your next piece, which you're going to crisscross somehow. Now you want to put it in a way that, it, that the lid can still open and close. So you want to put some glue on the side of this, and you want them to touch somewhere. You want to put them to touch so that, that way they don't, um, you know, it, it's the, the pieces together, they will make like a nice little connector piece. So that way it has like a little bridge. So you have that here. I'm going to put this one right about here. I'm going to see if I can slide down a little bit more, make it like lower, because you're going to have to, and then you're going to crisscross them. And I'll probably just crisscross this way. You know, to avoid this, to it the best. All right, let's see. I want to crisscross in such a pattern that it'll actually stay put. So this is the first one. All right, that's not, um, that's not the way I wanted to go so much, but I wanted to go like kind of like a this, almost like a, a wishbone. I don't want to have to cut these because not because I don't I can't cut it. It's because you know it's just trying to save time, as well as trying to make a nice little like bunk bed for it. I guess. All right. If I can't get it to fit that way, I'm gonna have to just um, reposition my where I was gonna reposition it. So I can't quite get it to stay. I'm gonna have to reposition it a different way. All right. So what I'll do, I'll probably just reposition it because it has to be able to clear the sides. 
So what I'll do is I'll just kind of crisscross it down here, put some um, like this, and then cross it here. So it'll be like a bunk bed, and I'll put the glue gun. So what I what I'm, I'll show you, I'm gonna show hold up when it, when it hardens, like right here. Yep. Alright, so like this. Let's see if I can get it to just kind of balance a little bit. Okay, so here, so I have it like this. And I'm going to see if I can just get it to balance better. See, once I figure out how this goes, I can actually, you know, because this, this is not like how I did before. The other one I did before was a, a slightly bigger container able to get two to fit. I'm trying to get two to fit and one to crisscross. I don't want it to be flat. I want it to be flat like... I might just end up doing like this, one of these kind of things. Like a like a V formation, like half on one side, half on the other. I might just end up doing it like that. That way I have a consistent... which means I'm just going to pick it up again, the bottom part, you know, and then just kind of put more glue on it. More glue on it. And then the Mantis Relocation Program. Alright, I'm going to relocate your mantis. So there's this one. And I'm going to turn this sucker that way. So when it hardens, I want to make it higher so it has more of a, a, a perch for them. But I guess I might have to actually end up cutting it. This wasn't a plan in what I wanted to do, but... Okay, so there's that. I'm going to put that there, and it's going to anchor in right there. So now you have... going to be like that. You know? going to have it where it's like, like this. You see how it is? You have the uh, lights in the way. You have it like, uh, see, like, like, like that, see, like that. And so here's the position how it's going to be. So when you put the cap on, the cap will be about this big. See, pretty much it can, it much better. Believe me, it's a little bit better to have a container about this big, because the ones that we had were a, little sm a lot smaller than this, and they were starting to, um, uh, the legs were starting to mess up in the back because you know it's. I'll have to show you, show you the dynamic. Okay, so this is the one. So let me go ahead and just and get this out. And this is like this like all this is safe safe glue. It's um it's, it's safe because you have to have stuff that's safe and not like dangerous to the animals, of course. But so you're gonna make sure that all those things stay put. And then you're gonna make sure that they're it's glued on top again. So this is this is number one complete. Well, not complete yet, obviously. I might actually put a third one in there just to just to give it a try, make sure it's better. All right, so that's gonna stay there. All right, that's not gonna move because they have to. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the position that these are in and see if I can copy the same kind of position. But I gotta do that in all the other ones too. So let's go ahead and do that too as well. All right, so let's go ahead and just do that. All right, so let's kind of re relocate, redo. I think maybe I might have a third one just to make it higher. But the whole goal is to make it so it's, it's a lot higher than then lower for them. So, again, I'm going to put this here. Alright, right there. And then that one's going to go there. Then you're going to put the heat here. This one's gonna crisscross it. I'm gonna put it on this one first, and I'm gonna have it have it gloved like right here, like that. And then after that, right, right there. I'm gonna put that in right there, and then we're gonna go flip over the other side and put it up there as well. You think you gotta make sure you know it's it's hot. So you gotta don't like burn your hands. I mean. it's Glue guns don't really burn your hands, but I mean, I guess if you stick it there and hold it there, but usually what happens when you pull away, it starts to cool off immediately. So don't hold it to your hands unless you want to feel pain, because that's two. All right, so we're gonna do about about six of these. So let's see how that works out. So so if you have six, definitely you definitely need you know. So the popsicle six six size, by the way, you know, standard popsicle. This is about um, uh, from there the edge to the thing is about four and a half inches. So what happens is that we take that and we're able to just kind of go here and do this really quick. Then we're going to go drill holes in the edges of them. 
that's going to be fun to do. So what I'll do, I'll probably just uh, do this, and then I'll stop the camera, and then I will resume the zo resume the um, the, uh, the the rebuilding process. All right, so let's hold that there, and then right here. I have to show you guys all the different cool parts about what's going on with the premiums we currently have. Probably let them all walk out around for a little bit. It's nighttime, so I made a chart, and the chart is something where you know you have to um, kind of feed them every day. Um, they're saying someone said that when they first like a little bit, you need to like, eat like four times. But some of the problems I faced with the mantis was um, just pretty much one: the food, making sure the food doesn't eat them. That's one. And uh, two, we had fruit. We got fruit flies at one point when they were really small, and that went pretty well, you know, until the fruit flies started escaping. But that was a pretty good thing. We, uh, I, I like that. They were, they were fun to watch them eat, and so they ate a lot of fruit flies. Then they got to the bigger bugs, you know, and the bigger bugs are hard to source. You got like the you no know, different ones they feed, and I'm not gonna tell you what kind of bugs. So for the most part, though. You can, you can go figure out the kind of bugs you could feed for them because they can eat all kind of bugs, including um, crickets and mealworms and waxworms and and things like that. So for the most part, though, they can eat. They can eat. Believe me, they can eat. They eat a lot of bugs. The bigger, the better when they get older. So we've had them for almost um, two months now. I guess from December December seventh through January is one. Then you have from. January to um, January to uh, February is two months, so we're about to end up in the three month range, and they're pretty big, um, pretty significant. I mean, they they are formidable. What can I say? Um, so the ones that are that didn't get damaged, because because the whole thing they molt, and every time they molt they double in size. So if you have ones that are really small in the container, and you wake up the next day, all of a sudden the next day them suckers are full grown, and you're like, oh my word, how did that, you know, not completely full grown, but they, 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 are, they get bigger and bigger each time you see them, so if you have them in a smaller cage and you don't get them out in time, this something happens to their back legs where it bends funny, when they molt, and it hardens bad, so we, we've, a couple of ones have, you know, we've lost a couple of them, we started off with a magic number of 12, and then, we actually we had like a hundred or so, and they were starting to eat each other until we got it down to about twelve. And we decided to put the, the first relocation program. The first relocation program lended us to, um, led us to um, have to move to get them into separate containers. The separate containers was kind of like a, a quick standby. But the second one is, is to have a, um, to have into a bigger container, you know. So the goal was like just pretty much to have a horde of prey mantis, you know, to have like maybe hundreds of these. And then so when you have hundreds, I mean, I mean, next generations will when they start giving birth and stuff. But for the most part though, it's one of those things where when you first start off, you're not sure exactly, this this has been the longest um, prey mantis session we, we've had. We hope to let them, release them into the wild, you know, that'd be kind of a really cool thing because each prey mantis kills like hundreds of bugs. But they have to survive the winter because they, they hatch in the middle of winter. So we're like, oh dag. What do we do? So I mean, you know, had we left them outside, it, I guess they would have been fine throughout the winter. You know, with the hot and cold, they probably would have start, you know, birthing out in when it got warm the other day. But for the most part, though, it's one of those things where, you know, we we could have done that. We probably should have done that because that way it's you know, leave up to nature, the nature, you know, nature, leave up to, to God and His creation as to what's going to be, as opposed to, you know, us just trying to keep them alive so they can make it to the thing so they can go free and then they have to deal with all the elements there, you know? So it's one of those things where you're just like, okay, well, you know, this is pretty good. I hope that, you know, we're able to, you know, I hope that stand in the light. hope that we're able to do this and to make sure a lot of them make it, but then, you know, now we're losing them. Some of them are dying. So that's kind of like, it's sad about that because, I mean, I like Prey Mantis. They're one of my favorite books. So, because they're so cool, they're so responsive, they, they turn their head and all that stuff. Alright, so there's that. So here you have it. Okay, so here's this. I don't completely like the setup. I think I should add another bar. I might just do that, add another bar, but I don't want to be too confining for them. You know, the more space the better, you know, to keep reaching up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the glue gun. I'm going to take the glue gun and I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to turn the glue gun real quick. 
and then from there I'm going to go ahead and start with the drills to try drilling all the holes. So what I'll do is move this out of the way here, out of the way here, and I'm going to put this over out of the way, and then from there I'm going to start the drilling procedure. So the one I just did last was that one. The one I did first was like the one I did first, the messy one. So this is the messy one here. The messy one is the first one. Yep, and that's the one with the holes already bored into it. So what we'll do kind of go there. I'm going to pause the camera for a second and then come back to it where it's going to be more um, ready for you know that. So here goes one. Pause it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's one of the little praying mantis that we have. This one here is um, uh, we call him um, B1. He's B1. He's actually like um, a month old. He's actually one month old, and you can see he's so small so small and cute and everything so he's about a month he's he's approximately at this point um, how many centimeters he's about five centi four centimeters but in terms of inches he's almost about uh, almost two inches long so he's really cute he's really cute he or she because you don't know about what what they are until a little bit later their segments but this one is really cute I'm gonna put him back into his cage and so his cage his cage is here his cage is here and then so his cage is here, it would be one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in there. That way he can like him be safe for now. And so I'm gonna do that. Go ahead, be one. Put him back in there, be one. Okay, good. Alright, so so he's inside here now. This is where he is, B one. This is cage. Alright, B one because B one because that's the second batch. All right, the batch number. So anyway, so that's that. And um some of our previous containers, let's see, I can show you the, the container is clean. All right, here it goes. All right, this is one of our previous containers, right? This is how, how big it is compared to the ones that are current. All right, this is a previous container, and so you see how the size, the comparison and difference. This is twice the size of this one. So what will happen is that they were, they were molting and, and they're getting bigger, and so what happens is, like, you have the other one that was in there. It wasn't as big or as, as deep. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the start drilling the holes for this one to make sure it's all, all better. So yeah, so that's um what we're trying to make a bigger housing for them. So eventually, I'm telling you that when we have um uh what's your name? Okay, so when you have this is this is the mama bear. Okay, this is this is what the mama looked like. Okay, she she passed away. So here's a, a dead mantis. She's dead. But this was the big one. We have her. And see how big it is. How big she is compared to the cage. See, this one will fit very very nicely. She'll fit very nicely inside a cage like this. But still, it's even not big enough. So this is her. When you know, so see, I have her here in this plastic container. I was gonna mount her up like I did at Crunchy Georgie, but we didn't have a, a cage big enough. So there it is. There she is. Um, this was a spring, a spring, spring. So this is the mama of all the pretty mantis that we have now. And so again, I'll show you the picture of her. This is when she passed away. She's she's gone because mantis only last a year. So that's the sad thing about it. But for the most part, there this is um, this is the string bean as you can see. So there she is. She's really big. There's a type of name for it. I'll I'll tell you the name of it when by the time I get to the video. What these type of mantis are, but they're, they're giant mantis. Okay. So anyway, so that's the size of that one. This is um, this is Prince Peter Country Georgie. This is what Prince Peter Country Georgie was like on this side. I got him, uh, Prince Peter Country Georgie when I found him in 2019, and then pretty much this is what he, the size he is, you know, in comparison to the other one. I'll show you the size of the other one. The other one is huge. The other one is huge compared to it. So let me see. I'm just going to show you how big. She's, Crunchy Georgie is twice the size. And so here we go. So see this. Uh, is, um, this is two times the size of the. You see how big the comparison is. You can see. Right. So bring it closer. Yep. The comparison. See the size. Uh, how big. This one's a giant mantis. Mantis is huge. And she's all big and green. I she's trying to turn black because of the color, but she, she, you know, when she died. But she was like, she was vicious. Okay. Anyway, so this is uh, green bean. Green bean's in here. And Peter Crunchy Georgie is here. So, I have that. These are two mantis um, that we have for the longest. Put that right there. Put this jammy, put this jammy there. Okay.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop the camera again. I'm going to go ahead and start the drilling process. Okay, so the drilling process. But these are the containers that we used to have, or the, the previous ones, and how small they were compared to how big the ones are going to be. How big these ones are going to be, you see? So it's half the size. So this is good for one month. This is hopefully good for two months and beyond that to where they get to full full stage. So when the springtime happens, we're going to release them, and they're going to be, like, just getting bigger. Anyway, so that's, that's what's going on. All right, so all right, I'm going to pause right here. Okay, so now we're going to do the drill. This here is a drill. First thing we're doing, we're going to drill the edges. Let's see, make sure I see it. They make it big enough so they have holes to be able to breathe and and we breathe and also so the the creatures that are inside don't escape. You know, I thought about burning the edges, but then I just, I just thought about it. So all the holes are now drilled. You know, you want to kind of just go back again to make sure they're all really drilled well, and then that way there's no. It's like it's good no burrs, and then you want to make sure that as you go through, they're all good and drilled well. Okay, so all the holes have now been drilled. So here's that one. Now for the cover. The cover you can do as many holes as possible, or you can just do a couple. I'm going to do just a couple. Don't drill your own hand. It's never good. Okay, so here. Alright, here. Alright, and the reason for these holes are just pretty much for any condensation. Because condensation will mess your mantis up. I think, th though, some of the things you got to be mindful of is the temperature of the, the food, not killing it when it's too small, for, um, you know, stressing them out, them not killing each other, and um, pretty much just um, being able to maintain um, a nice, nice area for them and space. Space. I didn't know about this space until it was too late, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind. So here's one that's complete. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and so how I drilled on the sides. There's like in between little barriers. You see these here? So right in the center, one, two, three. Right in the center of that is where I put the center holes to drill through. It's a balance thing, you know. And then for the top ones, it's just you know four. So you don't have to mark it per se, but you know it's good to mark it because it's always cool something to aim at, you know, as opposed to just aiming blindly, you know. But for the most part, though, it's all the same on every every container. Maybe the positions of the holes are different. Or the, the bars are different, but for the most part, though, it's the same. I can, do, I can make it go faster. That sucker faster. I'm going to go right there. Get ready. One, two, three. One, two, three.
All right, so here's that. Then the caps. It's going to be a little more fun doing the caps this way. And you can, you can just put them on top of there and just drill this way. Be like, so you don't get your hands at all. That's how it happens. That's in life. As you do stuff, you progress, you get better. So that's what happens. So now this one now, down down to the last uh, four more left. Okay, so let's do this. Four more left. So these are these are praying mantis that are two months old. Yeah, I had my kids doing this too. They love it. So, but you know what? Sometimes you just want to do stuff yourself. So, so just do it yourself, you know? So, that was one. You could rotate it. Okay, that's three done. Three to go. So here it goes. through just make sure it's all good and clean. Yeah, it's all good and clean. Now for the top top. Okay here. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on tight. Okay. That's four done. Let's go to five. Let's see how much we got. Four, five, one, two, three. See, so you know I'm doing it in the center. Let me see if I can just kind of zoom in closer. Maybe you can get like a even closer look. Uh, right there. As I change it up just a little bit just to give you a little perspective. All right, so let's. for the cap. Down to the last two. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm. All right. All right. Five down, one to go. Five down, one to go. Let's go with that five down. Yo. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three. Let's go. Oh. That was weird. That was weird. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, ah, oh, there's a sound again. Is the sound of cracking? Can it be? Am I squeezing it too hard? Don't squeeze it too hard. Okay, let's see. So we got that here. I'm gonna push it, push against it. 
She's the last one, yeah. Maybe it's a piece of plastic on the edge of the tip of the drill bit. That could be it. Okay. Alright, so here it goes. Um. Okay. That was it. Okay, so. Not sure what you see. Just not sure how to position myself. Right here. Okay, right here. Uniform. Okay, so there's that. Alright, so cool. Now, for the last part of it, then we have to do the cleanup, okay? See all the pieces of plastic all over the table? Nah, we gotta clean that sucker up. So, let's go ahead and drill this thing here. And let's go. Alright. Okay, that's it with the drilling. So, we have all the holes drilled. Now we're going to go ahead and get some masking tape and clean up all this plastic, so let's just get this jammy out of the way real quick. We have a couple more things to do because it's not completely done. See now, if you have a mantis inside of a cage, you have a couple of issues, right? One of the things you have to do is you have to make sure that they can drink water. So what we've been doing is that we've been using cotton balls as a source to, for them to drink water. That way the cotton balls will hold the moisture and they don't drown from falling in a dish. But, you know, you have to make sure you get on the cotton balls. Make sure the cotton balls themselves don't get dirty. You have to try and change them as much as possible. And you can't do that while they're in the tank, of course, because if you do that, then you're going to have cotton balls, um, hot cotton balls, right? So, i got to put the, the thing back on. The, um, i got to put the, um, uh, see, so here's all the tape. All that, and then put it in the garbage. Next, we're going to go ahead and bring back the glue gun, and we're going to plug in the glue gun again. We zoom back out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here, I'm going to bring back the glue gun again, and the glue gun tray. That way it doesn't um, stain my beautiful blue carpet. All right, plug the sucker back in. All right, then we're going to do, once it's all ready and cool, we're going to go ahead with the, um, um, the next part of the arrangement, which is the cotton balls. We're gonna see if we can do that, okay? So that's gonna be cool there. So we have six cotton balls here, and what we're gonna do and take the six cotton balls, and we're gonna uh, put them into. We're gonna put them in the center of the crisscross, okay? That way, the center of the crisscross will be able to be above the ground and not on the thing itself. So here's this. Let me get this. Monitor lizard out of the way. Okay, cool. You can find all of our products, and um, you can actually order or custom order or custom order request for us to make something for you in masking tape. Now make sure that everything on these is clean as well too. So. Mhm. Mm go through and just kind of it out, you know, make it nice and clean as possible, kind of take them out. It's not, you know, it's not for your sake, but, you know, for, not for their sake so much, but for your sake, because, I mean, these these things live on cactus and stuff, you know, they, they can, they love harsh stuff. Bugs like hard things that are like, like lizards too, it's just, they like things that are sharp and things that are soft. We have a beer dragon, her name is Barb, and so she, she's a, she's really cool, the coolest lizard in the world. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some of the hot glue. And we're going to take the hot glue. I'm going to put some of this right here onto the bottom of it. Now, I don't think I I got to find another way to make this better. I don't think the glue is the best thing because what ends up happening is that the glue, the part that's glued, becomes the part that's stuck. You know what I mean? 
So it's like the part that's glue is the part that's stuck. So I'm going to put this right in the center here. It's going to be stuck to the wood. And then the right there we'll have a nice big fluffy piece right here. So there it is. Right there. So we'll have that in the center. I personally don't like it in the center. Well, let's do it for this one. But next one, the reason why I don't like it in the center is because that's kind of the um, where they climb, you know. I'll leave it. Okay, I'll leave it there. This will be the one I'll do. I'll put, I won't put it in the center for the next one. I'll put it in the next one. I'll see how this is. We'll do a, a science project. Next one. So that's one. Next one. Little bag of jammy cool over there. Two. We'll go through and open this up. There's so many ways to do this. We usually, I, I usually cut holes in the top of it. You know, with a really sharp knife, so that way you can have a flap open to easy throw a bug in and have a bug come out real quick. But okay, so I'm gonna take this here, put some of this glue right on the center of this here, like that, and then I'm gonna put it in the center and the in the Y, right there. That way it's gonna hold to the wood. So you're gonna be able to spray water on it, and that'll be a nice place for them to drink. Again, I don't think I like it up there. Well, okay, well, I'm gonna leave that there. All right, and this one's here. Remember, if it doesn't work, I always take them out and start again. Okay, worst case scenario. Best case scenario, at least you have a nice looking cage. I'm gonna put it on a different one. I'm not gonna put. I'm gonna put two like that, and the remainder I'm gonna put in different locations with the cotton ball. Okay, that way the cotton ball is not in the way of their basking. Maybe it might be underneath, you know, reverse it or something, but it won't be like that. So I'll put it like underneath one of the arms. I'll put it in the corner, in a corner like over there somewhere. All right, this is the first one I started with, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So now we have this here. I have this here, and this here, and I'm going to put this right there, near the top. Okay, that way they can crawl on it and get some water, and they could leave it and go on the other one that's dry. That's, I think that's the setup a little bit better. I think I'll do it like this in the future. On one side is the water, and the other side is the thing. Now put, I only put it on the ground because the ground, I shouldn't even touch this, this is so hot. Okay, the ground has a thing where it gets dirty, and it gets dirty. These creatures eat a lot of bugs, okay? It's like, you know, it's pretty cool when you watch them eat, but it's like it's also it's hard to source more than one, okay? It really is. Because it's not impossible, it's just difficult, you know? And so that's the thing about it. It's not impossible, it's just difficult. So, let me see if I can do this. I've got 12 minutes left on this. Let's do this quick. That means I'm running out of space on my computer, my phone. That means that if I do this again, I'll be 12 minutes and then run a lot of space. So, like that, that all good. And I'm going to put it on one side to the wall. One side into the wall. It's hot, okay? Just know it's hot. So, we put it there, connect it to the wall on one side, a place where you can drink, a place where you can bask, okay? And that one is done. That's four out of five. I like that better. I feel good about that. Next one is going to be the this one here. I'm going to do that. Then we're going to reintroduce the one, the part you're waiting for, for us to introduce the prey mantis into the prey mantis cage and housing. Alright, just kind of go through and... As you can see, there's a ton of little pieces of plastic. Again, I'm going to attach to the, micro, um, the masking tape. Masking tape, by the way, isn't plastic, it's um, latex. And um, latex is a rubber... No, actually not even latex, it's actually... Um, the, the adhesive is latex, but the it's paper. Masking tape is paper. So it's like you're doing like origami. It's kind of like how it is. It's um, crepe paper. And it's designed not to scar surfaces and things. It's for posters and butcher paper. Anyway, long story short, I like it. I like working with masking tape. I think it's great. Made a whole business out of it. Alright, so here it goes. This here. A little bit more. So we've got two more after this one. Alright, just kind of check it, make check, check, double check, stick this, you're sticking this to the wall, you see that? To the wall. Alright, the wall. So stuck to the wall, the wall, right there, the wall. So that way it's there, and they can reach in and be bigger. Alright, there. Good, good, good. That's hot, it's hot to them. Okay, so that's five. One more left, yo. One more left, and we only got ten minutes more it's on the recorder device. See, look at that, look at all that, all that plastic. The drilled plastic. So it's, it's, this type of material is microwavable safe, so if you want to, no, we don't want to do that. But I mean, you know, we got it and we got a bunch of them, we got them in a six pack, because we have at least six mantis in here. And so what we're going to do, we're going to do the relocation program when these things cool down, which means I'm going to empty my camera and come back with a nice clean camera 
And after I clean up my messes, I'm going to do the relocation of each of them, okay? So I'll be able to show you what it's like to go from um, one, one month to two months. And Alright, so that's going to be cool. Let me go ahead and just finish this last part here, and then we're going to pause for a little bit and get everything good. Okay, so here it goes. This is the last one. And I'm going to go ahead and just set this jammy right in here. Right in here. So there it is on there, and there, and there, and then here's the lid. And boom, shaka laka laka. It's all done for now. I'm going to clean up this mess that I made. I'm going to put the rest of the, um, I guess, the tape. You know, let's say that in this world you can make a business out of anything. 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 Okay? So just always remember that. Don't, um, try and find a problem and fix it. You know? Find a problem and fix it. And the only way you know how. Because you're made for these things. Again, I was so happy just to fix the water pump, or to know there was a water pump needs fixing, and to be able to point that out. Because, you know, when you go to a mechanic, you want to make sure they don't take you for a ride. And they will take you for a ride. If they, know, if they can smell that, you're, you, that you don't know what you're doing, they will They will have you turn this car upside down and believe in every single story. That's why you have to get second opinions about everything in life, okay? Just don't. I just want to. All right, so this is it for that. I'm going to go ahead, and um, next time you see me, I'm going to have start doing the relocation of the creatures. Okay, thank you. Talk to you soon. Okay, so here we are. I'm pretty much what I'm going to do. I have this one ready. This one is a ready tank. And so what I have, I have two out of my is it six that are left. I'm going to put them into this one here. This is a brand new tank. So let's make sure everything is clear for it and all the stuff is tested. All right, we're going to spray up this right here. So I spray. I give it some water so that way it's all ready to go. Nice juicy water. Right, thoroughly excess, so that way this the it's all loaded and ready. Have that one. So what we're gonna do we're gonna take the one of our let's see which one. Okay, this one has damaged legs, but let's see, we're gonna go to seven. Show you seven right now. So this one's seven. Number seven right here. I'm gonna take seven and put seven into this here. So pull the seven out a little bit. As you can see, seven is rather huge. Yep, you can see seven is pretty big. Right, so I'm gonna give seven to its new home. Then we seven to go to. Some nice water and a much bigger tank. Here you go, seven. Mm -hmm. you just put it within here. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get you upside down. Okay, cool. So now you are upside down, and now you're right side up, and now seven is in its new case. Seven in case. Alright, so now I'm going to put seven in there. I'm going to transfer the number for seven. Make sure whenever you, they get to the top, you close it back. And give them time to make sure they don't get pinched. Make sure they don't get pinched when you put them back, back in there, because they come to the right to the top sometimes. And they don't want to put their foot right into one of the, the clamps, so make sure it's cleared as best you can. Mm -hmm. So they have a seven. I can't really close it unless I make sure. Okay, it's clear. It's clear. So now I will put seven. Now seven's in here. So I'm gonna take the number for seven and all the gross and dead stuff in there. I take seven's number. This is seven's number. And I'll put it to new seven. This is a new case for seven. So seven's in here. Seven. And Alright, now one that didn't do so well, unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and spray this one. It's going to be for, for nine. Nine is here, and the show happened to nine's lights in the molting process. In the molting process, it got messed up because it's, it's really. Come on. See the back legs got really damaged. You can see the back legs? The back legs got really, really messed up. And I'm hoping that a good mold will fix it. So come on up. Come on up, buddy. Come on. 
this is nine. A good molt in a new cage will fix it. See, that's the problem. If you can get one good molt in there, it's it's ready for another molt. If I can get it to molt and have a good exchange, see these back legs are messed up. You see how there's a damage right here? That's not good. That's a bad molt. A very bad molt. So it can still continue to eat. It still got the two front legs, but it's it's hard for it to. It's hard for it to, you know. This is, this is pretty sad in terms of like that what happened to the back legs. These are two months old. Then let's just kind of sit there for a little bit, okay? Gonna get rid of your old cage. Clean that up. Okay. You try to clean up these cages, like you know, as much as you can. But the bottom line is that the best thing is to give them big cages. You see that now? Small cages are not good for these these creatures. Well, only one day for a short term. Okay, this one's already in a big cage. This cage is actually, this is 12. It's kind of opaque. And it's actually the, the nice setup already, if you can see through. Already has a nice setup. So, it's like, see the size of this one to this cage. It's actually a bigger, bigger cage. So, we're going to leave 12 in 12 cages. You know? Poor thing. Get your bent leg, man. A way to like re harden it or something that'd be okay. So, we'll, do, we'll put it back into down that way. We'll crawl around for a little bit. Poor guy. You see, you see the damage? You see the damage done? It's like the, mol the molting caused the legs to bend. It's nothing to do with them, um, nothing to do with the, the, the mantis itself. It's the way in which the shape of the cage was. It molted so fast. Okay, when they molt. They need a big enough space for them to do that. Otherwise, you'll get the crooked leg leg situation, the bad messed up leg. So that's kind of something there. It's kind of hooked. I'm gonna put him into his new housing. Go there. I'm gonna go here. Okay, buddy. This will be your new home. And you are you are nine. Okay, so number nine. Make sure you don't climb up. I gotta put you over here. I'm gonna seal you in. Make sure you don't pinch your hands. Always pinch on the side of there. Okay, and then that one. That way, so you get it one side. So then this is nine. I'm gonna put the box for nine. Nine. So here you have. Okay, you have nine. So you have nine and seven. Okay, so next we have number three. Number three is huge. Okay, I'll let number three out for a little bit. Okay, number three is almost like full size. See, his so number three is actually in good condition. His legs are alright. I'm going to use this um, to get him out. This is, this is number... Stop the camera for a second. So here's number three. Number three is under very oops, defensive stance. It's very, very defensive stance right now. At the moment. It's kind of like very, very defensive stance.
he's been very defensive, so I can't really pick him up per se. So he's like ready to attack. It's very defensive sense. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yep, very very defensive sense. Want to fight? 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 It's okay. You know, I don't want to stress you out, so I want to wait. You go back in your cage. But this is a new cage for you, so. I'm going to put you in here instead because you're so big. So I'll let you kind of just walk in, okay? Which all like, I'm just going to let you just walk in there. So, he just doesn't like the purple pencil. Doesn't, doesn't like it at all. Just, it's okay. Just, just go good. Ready to kill this pencil man. Ready to kill it. Okay, okay. No. Right, so you are in there. Okay, so you are in. Alright, so you're not you are inside. Put you in there. Much bigger cage. I mean well I mean the other cage is bigger. This one's actually bigger. And so we switched out of that one to clean this one up. And then now we have this one. This one's happy. Uh, happy is um, got damaged legs too. We're we'll trying everybody in uniform, bigger cage. <laughs> when they get bigger, bigger, I'll put them in the biggest ones. But this one here, we're gonna you know, um, miss the first one. We'll, we'll switch up to this one. Oh. The ones I like, I'll go to this one. Right, so here's this cage. Prime ones, 379, and 5. 5 is. 5 is in the thing. It's. it's he's not doing something 5 with me. So, anyways, I have that. I'm gonna put this one, which is happy, 11 into this one here. So, I'm just gonna transfer it over. Leave, I can actually leave him in there. I don't need to stress him out. You know, I might just leave him in there because like his his case is pretty good already. I'll leave I'll leave happy in there. So it's eleven. It's all the prime numbers, isn't that weird? Three, seven, nine, eleven. Well, twelve isn't prime, but you know. This this one. Okay, these are the three containers that are, are good, so these are the ones there. So we're counting how many pray mantis is this? You got yourselves five pray mantis left. There are Two more that are alive. Actually, no. And this one here is this one here is B1. B1 is right here. B1 is right here, and this one is in there. B1. All right. So you have the size of them. This is a month. This is two months. And freshly born is somewhere. So we have um. getting bigger, and this one is number six, which is not a prime, but he's already in a container that's big enough for him, so I don't have to move him again. So now I have to just get rid of and clean up all these other tanks. Alright, so, yeah, that's going to be a jump for another day. Anyway, these are all the tanks that need to be repaired and cleaned out. The way 10 died was so horrible, because 10 actually was uh, a pretty good one, and then I had him, well, his back legs had damage, was damaged, and he fell down into a spider web, and got eaten by a spider. So that was terrible. So Claire, so it's Claire to me too. Okay, so all the ones that are old times, need some cleaning, go to Okay, so this is pretty much the whole effect. These are the ones I have here that I can actually show you right now. Um, all everything else is 
um, not eight of they're not um, the one that's not good five is not in really good condition. Um, pretty much, it's like it had a really bad molt all around. It just didn't molt well. And but but six six is perfect. All right, six is a perfect form. I'm going to show you um, six through the lens of distraction. Let's see if I can distract you through. I show you six. So here's six right here. Six is right there, and six is very very well formed. It's very. I think it might do another molt. We have this and this is the big cages. We have other Uthikas are there. There's other Uthikas that the uh, mom prairie mantis laid. So this is the inside of a cookie, cookie box. So that inside there, so that we have that one. That one's number number six. This is the cages we used to have them in. This we can see some of their old molts. When their old molts in there, some of their old molts. So what happened was um, uh, right back. What happened was like you know you have it where the um the cage was too small for them. So you see the size of the cage before. Size of the cage before, and then this is the size of the cage now. All right, and this is one they are super cages, like bigger than even those. So there's three different types of cages. So you have six, nine, and which so six is inside the big cage now. So we can actually get rid of the six cage too. So if we have any other smaller mantis, we can actually put them into the smaller cages over there. That's one. The next thing too is like this is pretty much it for for now. I just want to show you some of the, man the mantis reno. So this is um, they have been relocated. The mantis have now been all relocated. These are some of the, the cases that we have not used, right? All the ones that have markings are have been um, are to show that the relocation process is complete. This one has no marking, therefore it's not. So these are the other ones that are ready for um, the next stage of molting, and um, yeah, some of which, like for example, three three was having a hard time, so we give him a nice bigger cage for him, so hopefully it'll be better. Um, seven, nine, eleven, twelve. So this is eleven and twelve. So yeah, so eleven is in here, and he's small, but he's gonna get bigger. And twelve. Alrighty. So there you have it. There you have it. And then we have our schedule. We mark our schedule.